So, hello fellow banknote and coin collectors. Let me see if I can get this, yeah, full screen. And I actually did make a video on these, the banknotes of South Sudan. Anyway, let me introduce myself. My name is Glenn, and I like to introduce people to currencies. Banknotes, coins, different periods, doesn't matter. And I uh, just uh, like to educate people on uh, currencies from around the world. And as I'm based in Australia, I do make a lot of videos about Australian currency. But today, we have these South Sudanese banknotes. Now, I did make a video saying why I didn't actually buy these banknotes um, because of the inflation that's occurring. So the value of about 140 Su Sudanese pounds to one US dollar, so it's about 100 South Sudanese pounds to one Australian dollar. And a lot of people actually sell on these for quite a high value because they would have brought them for a high value in the first place. But I actually got these for a good price. Um, if you fish on eBay, you can actually get these banknotes for a good price. So I have, well, I have the 1 to 100. I don't have the 500 left uh, yet. And... Um, yeah, let's just have a look at them. So, as you can see, all these banknotes are different sizes. The one is the smallest, here is the 100, and I'm not too sure about the size of the 500. I presume, well, with a modern banknote, I presume it wouldn't actually be too bigger than this one. Maybe it's been resized. Another thing you can tell, they're all different colors. So there's green, like a red, ooh, a greenish color as well. Uh, the 10 was actually a blue, but as you can see, the 100 is also blue. So when they change this banknote, the 1, to a coin, they change this 10 from a blue to a green. So it avoids confusion as well. And another difference, when they introduced these banknotes in nine, uh, 2011, not 19, God, man. Uh, they actually issued a 25 pounds and it's actually the same size and pretty much the same design as the 20 pounds which was introduced in 2015 uh, to give it a 1 to 5 series instead of a 1 to 1.5 and a 5 series which uh, because there's a high illiteracy rate in South Sudan it's actually better for the population so on the one we have um John Garang de Medio, who was the leader of um, the independence movement, but he died in the helicopter crash in 2005, so he was unable to see the realisation of the independence of South Sudan, and also its current civil war, uh, which is raging at the moment. On the other side, we just have giraffes, and see a nice, beautiful pet nation, I presume these produced by Thomas de la Rue. Uh, I can't see the information of who actually printed these, but that's who I presume would have, because they produce a lot of African banknotes. So, as you can see, it's all in English. All the front design is pretty much the same. Uh, here we have the five. It has a segmented security thread which has it actually has oh the bank of south sudan on it in micro print can you see that bank of south sudan and it has a watercolor of dongarang and here if you have a look at all these this these lines here are actually for the blind. So from the one has one, so five has two, 10 has three, 20 has four, 50 has five, and 100 has six, and the 500 will have seven. So on the reverse of the five, it actually has a type of uh, oxen, domestic uh, cattle, and they have nice patination down the bottom. And the patterns in here were pretty much the same. 
So it's pretty much the same design except different colours and different animal designs on them. Uh, another watermark feature is this one here, the 10. And the high denominations have a more complex security thread, as you can see here. Beautiful. Not bad. So if you go to South Sudan, you probably still encounter these banknotes. Uh, this one is another type of oxen. It also has pineapple. So it has everything that you can find in a South Sudan. Uh, the 20, which I said before, was originally at 25. So if these patinations here, so this side, the circle, and this side, as well as the 20, if you hold it up, they should actually match. Obviously the 20 is backwards on the other side, but these should actually match up. And if you twist it around, now I first encountered this with Chinese Yuan or Remembi. So this is another security feature. These should actually line up, all of them. And if we turn it around the other side, they should do the same thing with the same pattern on it. And you should be able to do the same as well when you go like this as well. So what is on the other side? This one has a type of uh, antelope. Does it look like a cell? It also has an oil derrick because uh, South Sudan actually has a lot of oil that it can export but it can't because that's having um, a bit of a disagreement with, with Sudan. And it doesn't have any... Uh, export pipelines through Kenya or Kenya however you want to say it here is the uh, 50 which is like a purplish color and has a date 2017 so this is the last year that they produced so far and there's no 2018 except for the 500 and on this side we have some elephants beautiful and looks like we have a plant could that be a tea plant? Not too sure. If anyone knows, please tell me. And here we have the highest denomination I have is the 100. And as you can see, Bank South Sudan 100. And on this one, we have the lion. So the security features are not complex. If I had a UV lamp, I'm predicting that they would have some type of UV light on it but as in everyday transactions that's pretty no use uh, another security feature is here this pattern here if you turn it over should match up with that so when you light hold it up it's actually goes straight through so that's another security feature there okay so any other security features that I see uh, these should line up as well. No, they don't. No. So there is uh, some basic security features, not as complex as some other countries, but they are nice banknotes anyway. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, South Sudan's first currency, and have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. And please like and subscribe to my channel so you can check out all the awesome stuff that's in currency related. Thank you. Bye bye.